everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Welcome back out to the channel. Today we got an exciting episode. We're going to be continuing our look at the 7PRC uh, W cartridge in my Tika action hybrid barrel that we got going on here. Should be a good time. Let's get to shooting. Yeah, what are we talking about today? We are talking about the 7PRCW cartridge. This is a 6.5 PRC cartridge necked up to 7 millimeter. You might say, hey, trigger bar, why don't you just shoot 7 millimeter? Well, there's some good characteristics for this. Is one, it could possibly fit in a short action. I have it currently configured to fit in a long action. It also produces just a little bit less recoil, but gives you about the same performance. And so it's in between that 6.5 PRC and the 7 PRC, but maybe a little bit better for hunting. And then also a lot of folks like this for long range shooting. Alex Wheeler is the one who developed this. Alex Cortana is certainly someone who has given it a lot of popularity out on the YouTube. So yeah, and, and really just being real flat out candid, why do I have this is because I have a good friend who has one who made the reamer for a barrel to, to work with this. And if you don't understand, when you make a barrel, you usually make it in a caliber. So seven millimeter, six millimeter, six, five millimeter, so on and so forth. But then it has to be cut for the chamber so that the cartridge can fit in it and the bullet can be kind of loaded up into that caliber, if you will, the seven millimeter. So what they do is they take those kind of base barrels and then they cut it out for the design and the shape of the cartridge specifically that you're looking at. So in this case, it's a 6.5 PRC cartridge, necked up, made a little bit bigger for a seven millimeter. So the barrel is a seven millimeter barrel. And then they have a reamer, which basically spins in a lathe type thing and, and cuts out the inside of the barrel for the cartridge that's designed. My friend designed this cartridge with 153 grain Hammer Hunter bullet uh, with this case. Those reamers, they can last 15, 20 times cutting barrels before they get dull. And so we said, hey, he got one, I'm gonna get two. And so I appreciate him letting me use the reamer for it. I've got a Hell's Canyon barrel on it. It's a Tika action. I have a video out on my seven uh, Winchester short magnum. It's the same action from that. I just swapped out the barrel for it. I now have this uh, stock on here. I'll put up in the upper comments. I can never remember what the heck that's named. I've got a Night Force. I think it's a four, and a four to 30... Yeah, four to 32 Night Force 50 millimeter objective tube on it. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the setup that I'm running on this. I'm pretty excited about it. it seems to be shooting pretty well. We're gonna be shooting just suppressed today because I, and that's how I'm going to be hunting with it when I go out west and do some hunting later this fall for some Oryx. It's handsome orc. And so, yeah, I just want to get this, make sure this thing is sighted in, get a little bit more trigger time on this thing. We're not going to put a lot of rounds down range on it today, but I want to make sure that point aim, point impact with the suppressor is all set up. Ran out of time the last time we were shooting with it. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Let's see what kind of groups we get. We'll take maybe the first shots, try to get it uh, about where it is zeroed, and then we'll shoot another set, just kind of really dialing in, seeing how it's performing. All right, should be a good time. Let's get to shooting. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shoot a quick three shot group. I've made some adjustments to the scope. We'll see how it performs. I am having a hard time seeing. <laughs> Take the hat off. I am always trying to do this at the last second. I've already done a bunch of other videos today I'm trying to do this on the range and there's hardly any light out there. That appears to be pretty high. And we'll just do a three shot group. Is that? I'm getting quite a bit of jump on that first round. That does not make me feel super comfortable with this suppressor. And I think I saw that last time I shot with this. It's, uh, it's moving quite a bit in the point of impact shift after the first round, which is kind of like what you would be hunting with is that first round, so, yeah. Yeah, see the, the second shot's right next to it, but I'm getting like pretty big jump. Okay, well, I've gotta come down. Where it's settled down in, I went too far over left, and I've gotta come back, and then I've gotta come down maybe two inches. Yeah, something like that. Let me make some adjustments, let the rifle cool down, and then we'll shoot maybe a five-shot group, see how it goes. 
Yeah, I was I was aiming here before I was down in here. I'm wondering if I had already adjusted this and just forgot about it. But at any rate, got to move it down about two and a half inches and over back one inch. So, yep. Okay, well we're gonna continue shooting. I'm gonna I'm gonna just shoot this one more group on this and see where that see where my uh, where now our zero is hitting at. So I'm gonna move over just to the left to the left tar top target. We'll see what happens there. Okay, it's pretty close. Pretty close. coming together now. Ah, last one and it pulls. All right, well, let's go down, check it out, see where we're at. I think we're okay. I may want to, just double checking, I may want to come up a half, a half MOA. Yeah, maybe at least one click. I'll go up one click on it. Quarter MOA. All right, let's go check it out. <clears throat> okay, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Probably shouldn't have touched it. That's where I was aiming exactly there, and I got two rounds right in there. This is the last one that I said I pulled. This happened earlier on it, but that's, you know, that's sub MOA. I'm happy with that. Okay, well, why don't we wrap things up? Here we had another good day shooting the 7-65 PRCW cartridge out of our Tika action with the Hell's Canyon barrel and the setup that we got going for it. It's really a nice shooting rifle. I am finding it a little disturbing with that first shot that we are getting a little bit of a difference, maybe one or two MOA difference uh, when I put it on for the very first time. If I leave the can on, let it cool down, and then shoot more, it's a pretty nice tight group uh, at past, you know, uh, down to a uh, half uh, or sub MOA, not half MOA, but sub MOA. That's pretty acceptable for the type of hunting that I am I plan to be doing. So let me know what you all think. If there are other things you want to see with this cartridge, I do plan to load some other bullets in it. I'm sticking with the 153s for the hunt. It's all set. Next up, we're probably going to be doing some uh, bipod shooting with it and just getting ready with those types of things. Taking it out maybe just to a little bit longer distances. I can only get out to 300 yards around here, but we'll get it out to a range that's a little bit longer and, and see what we we can do in terms of my shooting, my accuracy, uh, my ability to get in different positions and 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 hit hit uh, the target. So uh, yeah, if there are any other questions about the 7-65 PRCW, I'd appreciate it. Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this setup. Hope everyone has a great week and let's get to shooting. From pistols to rifles, we'll take on the best. Reviewing each weapon, put them to the test. With revolvers and shotguns, we'll break it all down. Get Second our mask. Amendment Friggin protects from the crowd. Shooting for the stars, defending our rights with God in our heart. Okay. We'll rise to new heights okay, from the range to the woods. We're ready to roll. Trigger bar philosopher, heart and soul in the land of the brave. We stand Ooh. tall and free. Prepping for tomorrow. Mask. That's pretty fun. Good guy with a gun. Self defense strategies will make it fun. Night vision gear on, we move with no light. Tactical training.